Uh, praise God, my name is uh, Dafton Masharia, a member of this church for a long span of time. I'm currently serving as a people's warden, a position I have now served for, for seven years. Uh, I thank God for that position. Uh, as we celebrate 30 years of existence of this church, we have a lot to thank God for. It has been quite a journey, a long journey. Uh, and when you look at uh, the, what the pioneers were able to do, we can only thank God for his goodness over the years. We are celebrating 30 years uh, of God's goodness, God's faithfulness. And as a church, when I look back uh, from where we have come from, the church has been a family church right from the beginning. And that is one area which has always been part of this church. Uh, this church has achieved togetherness. Uh, and that togetherness has made us uh, get, achieve uh, major milestones. Uh, if I can just mention a few, during the COVID period, when we had uh, a global challenge, we were able to overcome, we were able to weather the storm together. That is one of the, the areas I can uh, clearly mention as having lived through some period. We have been a very good support system for our members, and that is a, a milestone which we celebrate. As we celebrate 30 years, we, we thank God for Interesting enough, this church has maintained the family element. Uh, we know the history of the church. It was a, a, a piece of land was donated by one family. And over the many years, we have had many family connections within the church. You find one member joining, then the sister comes in, a cousin comes in. So we have, we have lived the dream of being a family church. When you look at uh, the core values, why the church has made, what has made the church uh, maintain that? Members have been very passionate about their church. That is one core value which I really cherish and I've seen it has made the church get to where we are. Members love their church and they serve their church with passion. That has made us achieve what we have been able to achieve for the la that last 30 years. Caring members have had the heart of caring so that is one core value which has also uh, brought us this far which has now brought the issue of ownership members own their church they feel they own their church and once you have the ownership element coming in we are able to move forward uh, together the future of the church the future of the church is very bright if you look at where we have come from the generations we have with us pioneers some pioneers of the of the church and i know the pioneers had what they, they were dreaming about when we were putting up the sanctuary i know at some point people were wondering now where do we get new members coming in because basically the the the, the surrounding area was a controlled uh, area but with time we have grown numerically and currently we have a large uh, proportion of our members who are within the, the uh, 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 lower age bracket. We have a lot of uh, young parents, we have very many children, and to me that spells the future of the church. Once you have a, a younger generation, you have a bright future. And I'm happy to see that our young members are also getting involved in leadership positions within the church, and that brings a lot of hope and for sure, even our pioneers, as we celebrate 30 years, our pioneers are very happy to see the church has future, the church will grow. Uh, my parting shot to the members, for a long time we've been having a vision as a preferred church. So my parting shot to the members as we celebrate 30 years, let's continue making St. Joseph of Arimadea the preferred church the preferred church where once you step into the compound you don't wish to look for any other church thank you so much and may god bless you